we'll use story understanding to examine the general processes of understanding. Here are two stories that we have encountered earlier. The first story is talking about a earthquake that hit Lower Slobovia and caused some damage. The second story is talking about the president of Lower Slobovia who killed for a number of proposals. Both of them deal with killing, but the meaning of the two stories are very, very different. Humans make use of stories to understand the world around them. The world offers a very large amount of data at any given time. We use these stories to provide structure to that data, to make a coherent sense of it. When we discussed these two stories earlier using frame as the knowledge representation language, we found that we could have a frame for this notion of killing, killing of 25 people, and this notion of killing, the killing of 25 proposals. And there was no simple way in the frame knowledge representation to disambiguate between those two meanings of killing. Now we'll examine how we can construct a different interpretation of the first story from the interpretation of the second story based on different interpretations of the word killing in the two stories. In order to make the two stories simpler and to illustrate our point, we're going to focus on one sentence from each story, sentences that contain the word kill. Humans have little difficulty in understanding that the first sentence means something completely different from the second sentence because the kill in the first sentence means something completely different from the kill in the second sentence. How can we build an AI program that can do the same thing? We will see that the AI program will need to use a lot of background knowledge in order to be able to do that, and that will generate hypotheses about how humans might be using that background knowledge to similarly disambiguate between different senses of the word kill.